first to fight it in my left, fighting out of the B2 Digital blue corner. He stands five feet, six inches tall, and weighed in at 210 pounds. Fighting out of UFC Jim Murfreesboro, Riley Grizzly Henner. And his opponent to my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is a BJJ specialist, standing six feet tall and weighing in at 205 pounds. Give it up for Dakota Deadlift Williams. I noticed when our ring announcer, Sean McClure, said Dakota is a BJJ specialist, Dakota gave some little eyes. Like, are you sure? <laughs> well, see. it's going to be interesting. You know, we got two young guys, uh, you know, to, to start the night off and, uh, you know, when you're 18 and 19 years old, man, you know, I mean, who knows? There's a lot of butterflies and jitters happening right now. Oh, looks like Dakota took a little slip there. Good knees. Yeah, you know, if you see Dakota, Ryan. he seems, uh, you know, to kind of be pressing, nice. you know, the action. Get a nice little takedown. Yeah, it looked like Dakota really wanted to make it a point to get that fight in the cage and close pressure. Yeah, you know, he, he started real aggressive, slipped, but, you know, recovered. And, you know, when, when you're this young and inexperienced in a cage, like right now, breathing is key. So it's just making sure you get your breaths in. You're not holding. You know, you're holding your breath so you can kind of relax. Relax a little bit and explode when you have the opportunity. To Alex something. Hacker, what do you think of those elbows to the body from side control? Uh, they suck if you're on the bottom, so they're really bad for Riley, but Dakota's doing a really, really, really great job of implementing them. You know, all the way to Mount, too. You know, Dakota has um, kind of exploded, you know, since since the fight started, and he's, he's wound up in Mount. Um, it, it doesn't seem like Dakota's planning on this fight going to the decision. Rounds. No. Consistent with the jujitsu practitioner, he showed humility when he kind of rolled the eyes, but it looks like maybe that was accurate. Yes. Yeah, yes. he looks pretty good. You know, and, and, and Riley Hanner, Hanner he's, he's going to have to relax a little bit, and I know it's, it's real easy for us to say it's sitting here saying relax, but he's going to have to calm down, you know, clear his head a little bit, and he's going to have to mount a little bit of offense and, you know, get out from this bad position, even if it means putting himself in a worse position to do that. Yeah, you're getting punched in the head. You know that your opponent can't stop you from standing up and fighting hands. If your opponent's got overhook, underhook, that's when you can not get hit. You know, in Dakota, he, you know, a lot of times guys start gassing right about now in their first fight, and he's he's still moving. Like, he's still chugging forward, man. Yeah, he's two straight minutes of really good offense. Uh, you know, and it's been consistent offense, too. Yeah, it's impressive. Train with Donnie Wallace, and I'm sure you get a lot of good grappling rounds in. Yeah, Donnie, of course, is a black belt from Hicks MMA. He's the owner and head instructor there. Really, really, really good pro fighter. See, now you see, Don, you see Dakota uh, yeah. slowing down a little bit. Right now, he's just got to be doing deep stomach breaths. He's got to get the air all the way down to the bottom of his belly. Yeah, Riley uh, not really improving so much. He's just sitting there eating those because they probably don't hurt, but still it can be enough to stop the fight. You hear referee George Conley saying, yeah. you got to do something. I need yeah. to see something from you. Almost on the verge of stopping it. Dakota with this sitting suplex. See, Dakota's going to be starting taking his breaths, you know, pacing himself. And it, this has been a very one-sided round. I'm, oh, I'm surprised yeah. it's gone like this, to be honest with you. Our apologies if you heard any curse yeah, words on the... Don, Donnie Wallace was not happy about the people being in the way when he's trying to go corner his fighter, which is fair. He's going in there trying to coach. He wants a win. Yeah. Well, to that note, I think it is a wonderfully socially distanced crowd here. Everyone's... The, Vanessa and Hard Rock have done a great job of... Yeah, you know, with all the COVID restrictions, um, like everybody on the inside of the cage has been tested. Yeah. And, um, you know, the bubble that we've created here is the best possible scenario that we can for the health and safety of everybody here in attendance. You know, it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, what the corners are going to be talking about. You know, if you're you know, if you're in Riley Hanner's corner, if you're Hunter Spring, you uh, you got to calm them down a little bit. Say, all right, didn't go your way. You know, they, they very well could have been a 10-8 round. I almost said it. I was thinking it. It's, you know, I mean, it's you could make a hard argument for if that's 10-8, you can't yeah. 
Yeah, there's, you can't make an argument against There's no it. telling with MMA judges what that's a great what, point. What it's gonna be. <laughs> but what is a ten eight round? Yeah, we just but, hope but that, that's a great case for it. Yeah. Yeah. We just hope that Dakota was seen as the, <laughs> yeah. the favorite. Golly. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Uh, yeah, I think Riley has to circle because we know Dakota's gonna come straight forward on a line. He's gotta find a way to circle and maybe implement some level changes of his own. We said that he wrestled in high school out in California. He needs to try to put some of that yeah, to work. You know, you, you're right. You got to figure Dakota Williams is going to come hard and strong again. Yeah, you know, usually people when they start that way, they usually continue that way throughout the the fight. So it's going to be interesting to see how he adjusts the beginning of these this round. Good wow. jab there you right know, away. You know what? Dakota wow. Williams did not react well to getting punched like no. that. No. Wow. You know, as, as you were saying, Alex, um, he swung out, found an opening, landed some heavy punches, and he is continuing. Yeah. Wow. He is. Riley is teeing off on Dakota Williams right now. What a fight. So, so Wow. Dakota Williams is not taking these punches well, and Riley Hanner is, is sensing that. Good move on Riley Hanner, smothering him, smothering uh, Dakota Williams. Or Dakota smothering Riley, I should say. I apologize. Yeah, Dakota's doing a good job of leaning, but right as I say that, Riley doing a good job of turning. <laughs> you know, if, I, if I'm right, there it is. They're going to stop it. Wow. 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 You know what, what you attribute that to? Corner instructions. I was going to say, yeah. how yeah. much of that do we deserve to give credit for to the corner? Oh. 100%. 100% of that. 100% of that. Absolutely. What yeah. a turn of events here for Riley Hanna. And, and you know what? That, that's what amateur mixed martial arts is all about. It's about making adjustments, changes, dealing with adversity. And if you, Riley Hanna might not have been a better fighter in, yeah. the, in this bout. And he pulled out a win. And I largely attribute that to his corner. Yeah, that's one of those fights that you want back, man. Absolutely. At, yeah, if you look at Dakota, he's still got wobbly legs. You know, they, they should probably yeah. sit him down on a stool. Yeah, I, I agree. Heck of a fight to start the night's uh, action. We saw arguably a 10-8 round and then turn, <laughs> turn, turn, of turn, turn of events. The referee has called a stop to this fight at 50 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by TKO Riley. Yeah, that's a bitter pill to swallow if you're Dakota. Yeah, you hate to see it for him, but he showed such promise in that first round. They need to get this guy some help down the stairs. Yeah, I mean, you, you got a guy that just uh, probably won a 10 8 round and um, was slowing down a little bit, and um, you saw the adjustments made by, uh, by Riley Hanner at the end of that.